The water is starting to recede along the coast and some high water lingers in typical trouble spots after days of heavy rain, but it's good that it's letting up. Let's get right to meteorologist Joe Ranieri now. So Joe, we're starting to see things dry out throughout the area. Absolutely. And finally, I think for a lot of people, especially along the Oregon coast, we basically have seen rain, which seems nonstop since Wednesday night and up to this point. As we look at the radar, we start to see a little bit of some drier conditions throughout a northwest Oregon along Astoria and Seaside, who basically have been kind of seeing the brunt of the uh, atmospheric river that we've been seeing here the last couple of days, but still dealing with some lingering showers over New Eugene and Southern Oregon. You travel over the mountain passes. It's not going to be rain showers late tonight. It's going to be the snow showers. Snow level drops down to anywhere from about 2000 feet to 2500 feet, regardless below pass levels. So if you're traveling in that direction, be prepared for several inches of new snow over the next 12 to 18 hours, anywhere from two to five overnight. And we're picking up a little bit of some snow showers as we speak. Looking at some of the watches and warnings, basically we're done with the flood watch that was in place uh, throughout the, uh, much of Western Oregon. Now this green color is that gray, the Grays River over in Southwest Washington flood warning in effect until about 1240 on Monday afternoon and a flood watch in effect until tomorrow night. You travel down to the Southern Oregon, you're gonna be running into some snow showers, snow level about uh, about 4,000 feet. If you're gonna be traveling over just east of, uh, of uh, Medford and into the Southern part of the Oregon Cascades, winter weather advisory in place anywhere from four to eight inches of new snow overnight. I'll let you know what you can expect to see heading into tomorrow. And yes, I'm tracking drier conditions. I also will let you know what you can expect to see for Christmas Eve and more importantly, Christmas Day. Yeah, very important. Joe, thank you so much. Well, as he said, the last couple of days of fall have been the wettest we've seen all season. In fact, rainfall amounts over the last four days are over two inches and along the beaches, they got slammed with rain, wind and flooding too. That sounds like so much fun. Art Edwards joining us now with more on how bad things have been at the coast. Art? Well, Maggie, things really were bad for a while. They really saw that heavy weather there, but it does seem like things are starting to maybe taper off a little bit. As Joe said, we're starting to look at like we've gotten through the worst of the weather, uh, but there have been issues all over Oregon and even up into Washington. Things are looking better on the Oregon coast. In Seaside, the water is going down in the Nicanicum River. This is Highway 101, just outside of town. The high water signs are still out, but there's no longer enough water on the road to stop traffic. The surf is up in the ocean, and we found at least one person who decided to test the waves. Further south on 101 in Tillamook County, the water has also begun to recede. The Tillamook River caused some local minor flooding earlier this week. In places, there is still some water over the roads, but not enough to stop traffic.